Hello everyone, this side Manisha Mishra, Assistant Professor in Mathematics uh, at Applied Science Department at Center News Institute of Technology and Management, Gurgaon. Uh, guys, this college is affiliated to Mahajidhyanand University, Rotak. So today I will discuss the topic of basic statistics and this topic is related to our unit one, that means BBA second sem. So uh, unit first topic uh, is this and uh, in basic statistics, I will discuss meaning, scope, types, limitation, and uh, 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 always uh, um, ask uh, in the final semester exam that uh, discuss the limitations of the statistics, this discuss the scope of the uh, statistics. So there will be ask a 20, uh, 18 marks, 16 marks question. So in your final semester exam. So guys, just let's see uh, the topic. Uh, first one define statistics and give characteristics of statistics so basic uh, uh, of statistics first that means uh, in statistics we can say that uh, uh, this is a mathematical analysis analysis or um, analyze uh, the data of uh, you what you have that means our conclusion from data so uh, the, the this is the basic of statistics right so statistics means numerical presentation of facts. Its meaning is divided into two forms and in plural form and in singular form, right? So in plural form, statistics means a collection of numerical facts or data. Uh, example, price statistics, agriculture statistics, production statistics. In singular form, the word means the statistical methods with the help of which collection, analyze, analysis, and interpretation of data are accomplished. That means uh, accomplished means fulfilled, right? So uh, we can say here that suppose you have a data. So what will you do? You will uh, review that data, analyze that data, and draw conclusions from data, right? So you will do all these things if you have uh, 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 your data and whatever, what is, uh, um, doesn't matter, right? Now, uh, characteristics of statistics. So what are the characteristics? First one, aggregates of data, numerically expressed, affected by different factors, collected or estimated, reasonable standard of accuracy, predetermined purpose, comparable systematic collection. So what are these means? My means you will first one, you will collect your data, then you will understand your data, then you will express this, if numerically form is given, then you will express this numerically form, affected by different factors, that means uh, if you have data and that data is affected by other factors, then you will write that things, collected or estimated, and uh, then you will estimate that uh, data after that reasonable standard of accuracy, if you will check your accuracy, predetermined purpose, if you suppose you have a purpose, then you will uh, prepare for this purpose and predetermine that comparable and systematic collection, right? And uh, in the last, you will write your conclusion there also. So therefore, the process of collecting, classifying, presenting, analyzing, and interpreting, uh, interpreting the numerical facts Comparable for some predetermined purpose are collectively known as statistics. That means if you will combine all these uh, points, then you will get a statistics definition, right? And basically we can say that uh, statistics is a form of mathematical analysis, analysis, right? And uh, that uses uh, quantified models, representations, and the synopsis for a given set of experiment data or real life studies, right? So basically we will use this, statistics will basically be uh, used in business, uh, business businesses, right? Now, some statistical measures include the following things that uh, we, we, uh, we have already studied in our second and third unit that uh, for the, um, basically we can say that this is the, these are the types of statistics. So mean, regression analysis, skewness, Curtis's variance, analysis of variance, right? These are the types of the uh, um, statistics, right? Now, first one, what is meant by data? Suppose I'm saying that you, you will collect a data. So first one, what is data? So data, 
refers to any group of measurements that happen to interest us these measurements provide information the decision maker uses data are the foundation of an of any statistical investigation and the job of collecting data is the same for a statistician as collecting stone mortar cement bricks etc is for a builder that means there is an example of here so, uh, collecting stone mortar cement and bricks etc is for a builder so um, basically we uh, we have that uh, we will for the data first one we have to spend uh, interested for the for the data right if our interest uh, in that uh, data then we will choose that uh, we will collect the information about the data right data are the foundation of any statistical investigation then third step we will in investigate that data and suppose the data is for job collecting so we will further pr proceed this right and there is an example collecting stone mortar cement bricks so uh, for a builder uh, what is what what are the needed need for a builder so collecting stone that he will do collect the stone mortar collect mortar collecting cement collection and bricks collect uh, collecting right so third question is discuss the scope of statistics so what are the scope of statistics where we will use that and uh, um, uh, other things so the scope of a statistics is much extensive it can be divided into two parts first one is statistical methods and second one applied statistical statistics right so first one is statistical methods such as collection classification tabulation presentation analysis interpretation and forecasting so about these about about these points collection classification tabulation presentation analysis interpretation forecasting we will further discuss all these topics because these are very important topic and there can be ask uh, eight marks to question or 16 marks question related to these topic so we will discuss all these further but uh, in a stat statistical method we will use all these method right now in applied method it is further divided into three parts first one descriptive applied statistics in descriptive applied statistics purpose of this analysis is to provide descriptive information scientific means data are collected with the purpose of some scientific research and with the help of these data some particular theory or principle is propounded that means in science we can say that we are we are just doing our research and by the research if we are getting some new uh, variable new information then that will be your scientific applied statistics so the third one business applied statistics under under this branch statistical methods are used for the study analysis and solution of various problems in the field of business right that means uh, 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 statistics also is used in various disciplines such as psychology and physical and social science humanities government and manufacturing also right so you will just uh, you will just do one thing that is statistical is statistical data is gathered using a sample procedure or other other methods right and uh, uh, descriptive applied statistics that means uh, we can say that uh, this uh, method are uh, used to synopsis uh, synopsize data from a sample exercising the mean or standard deviation right now next one is state the limitations of statistics so before the uh, limitations of statistics i just want to tell you types of statistics so i have, uh, i told you about type mean uh, skewness regression analysis kurtis's variance and uh, all these are the types of statistics right now state the limitations of uh, statistics so what are the limitations scope of statistics uh, guys this this is a two a two marks question can be or can be eight marks question right uh, if combined question are as, uh, is asking that means that will be your 16 marks question if uh, two or three um, points are asking that means eight marks question and single that means it means two marks question so scope of a statistical is statistics are very wide 
in any area where problems can be expressed in quantitative form statistical methods can be used but statistics uh, have some limitations right so uh, in, um, uh, qualitative we can use the this thing in in also qualitative uh, form right so first limitation is statistics can study only numerical or quantitative aspects of a problem right that means we can use that numerically or only quantitatively statistics deals with aggregates not with individuals statistics uh, statistical results are true only for on an average right yeah mean median mode i have already told you that these are the averages not uh, part particular or not uh, right quantity right only average uh, standard deviation is also an average mean median mode you always get a value uh, in average value right so these are the average statistical laws are not exact statistics does not reveal the entire story right statistical relations uh, do not necessarily bring out the cause and effect relationship between phenomena statistic uh, is collected with a given purpose statistics can be used only by experts right so these are the uh, limitations of statistics these are the scope of statistics and this this is the definition and characteristics of it, uh, statistics so this is the 16 marks question um, define statistics and correct give characteristics of statistics and also discuss the scope and discuss the limitation state the limitations of statistics this is your 16 marks question right guys and in our next video i will discuss more topics related to statistics so thank you